Welcome back to today's video. If you've seen my past videos, you know I often use the OS module to rapidly access single files or multiple files in my directories. And so today I wanna to kind of help you gain a little bit more insight as to how I pick whether I'm using list directory versus scan directory, and also help you to sort of get a better understanding and appreciation for this module because the documentation is kind of complex. Let's get started. So first I want to import the OS module and then uh, create an instance of my subdirectory uh, as a string data. And then let's just start with uh, os.list.dir. And if we run this, we see we get a list of the current directory that we're in. And so I'm showing this here on the left panel. We have our, our current notebook, we have upcoming notebooks as a folder and several other components in here. And so if we want to say access the data folder, we could do something like this where we pass in subdirectory to our list. And now we're looking at the contents of this subdirectory. And so if we open folder, you see that these files match. Now, this is great for just getting an idea of the contents of a file folder. However, if you want to read these files using, say, something like pandas, um, then you often then have to append the subdirectory to these file names. For instance, we'd have to create something that looks kind of like this, where we have um, you know, data then we'd pass in iris.txt to our uh, data frame reader. However, there's another way we could do this. We, we could also run the change directory. And so if we run os.changedir, we can actually just change the directory to the subdirectory. Um, if we now take the next step and run os.list directory, we now see that it automatically reads into this subfolder that we've called. And if we attempt to run this into pandas, this would work if we just passed in the string. However, if you're accessing folders for multiple subdirectories, I don't really like changing the overall subdirectory. It feels a little bit uh, complicated and you can really run into a lot of issues if you don't run these in order. And so what I recommend is using the scan directory method because this approach actually stores these this system where we actually have access to the path and the name of the file. So let me show you. So first, let me change my directory back to the original top directory. We could do this just by using the two dots. And now we are back in our top directory. Let me show you. So now we're back at the top directory. And if we look at os.scan directory, we get this uh, scan directory iterator object. And so if we want to look at this, you have to um, iterate through it. And so my preferred method is to use enumerate and then wrap all of this into a dictionary. So now that I have a, a basically a dictionary entry of these various components. And so if we want to take this approach and look at the subdirectory, we have a dictionary of our subdirectory. So let's call this uh, dir dict. We'll do this here so we can continue to see it. And if we run dir dict and we want to look at the uh, this file here, all we have to do is pass one and we get this directory entry called iris.xlsx. So this is an Excel file with this iris data in it. Now, I mentioned this because the nice thing about this particular approach, even though it has a little bit of extra work we have to do ahead of time, uh, we get two attributes. We get name, which is essentially what list directory gives us. And so uh, if we ran with this and we wanted to read this file, we would still have to append the full path. However, this approach also has a path attribute. And so now we have this string here that when passed to something like pandas.readXL, um, it automatically it automatically does this for us. And so if we pass this statement here to read Excel, it would automatically get the path for us and there would be no extra work. And so when looking through a bunch of files, this is a very nice approach. And we can do all the same sorts of filtering we might do with list directory once we iterate through this directory folder. The other thing we can do, um, and I don't do this very often, is, is using os.walk to understand um, the, the structure uh, and let's pass in the top, which is this, and we get this generator object. And so again, when you see something like this, 
you typically need to think I need an, an iterator to get to read this. So let's put an iterator around this. And now you see we have a list of lists where we can see our entire file structure starting with the directory we're in. So this Python for R&D folder, and you can see each of these folders, if there's a subfolder or files in it, we can look through this entire thing. And so essentially we have a, a nested list of lists. And so if we look at the 16th, we see we have a bunch of other old notebooks. So we're in my published notebooks folder that is here, where we have a bunch of other um, notebooks we've used in previous videos. And so this is pretty nice just to get an, an orientation of the, the notebook structure, the directory structure. Um, I don't typically use this very often, but again, just good to know. Uh, if you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.